On this episode of Geek Dad Life, we're going to review the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batgirl. Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Dad Life. It's your host, Jay Gladfelter here, and finally, the last DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figure that I wanted uh, from the first wave has arrived. My pre-order from Amazon finally arrived in the mail uh, a couple weeks after they said it would, but it is here and we're going to review it today on Geek Dad Life. Uh, we'll do my normal 30-point uh, review structure. We'll be grading on six categories, packaging, paint, and sculpt, articulation, QC, accessories, and fun factor, all hopefully adding up to 24 points out of 30, deeming it shelf-worthy. Now, the packaging for this one is bigger. It has the Collect to Build Batmobile one of three figures uh, that allows you to build uh, the Batmobile. It's uh, Batgirl, Nightwing, and the Batman Who Laughs. Uh, but as you can see, I have a Batman figure still in packaging. Uh, it is uh, just uh, that much bigger to include uh, that Batmobile piece and no more. So it's not that much bigger uh, in the scheme of things. But it's a neat uh, add-on here for this figure. Um, I did pay more on Amazon than the $19.99 price. I think it was like $24. Bucks. I don't know if that's an Amazon thing or if that's going to be a full retail thing for these three figures. So while it is nice to have that add-on, um, I don't necessarily know if it's truly worth it uh, for the Batmobile. But we'll see how this one piece is. And, and maybe I can piece one together at a, a build-a-figure part swap or something. But, uh, but yeah, out of these three, I'm definitely only going for the Batgirl right now. You never know how things go. Maybe I'll find the other ones at discount or something. Uh, but I feel like that, that Batman Who Laughs is going to be a, a pretty expensive figure. Uh, but still, excited to have this one. Uh, it looked great uh, in uh, pictures. So let's get this thing open and see how it looks outside of the box. All right, opening this thing up. Uh, same as all the other figures so far. We have the figures and accessories in the plastic tray, and in the background we have the card and figure stand attached to the cardboard inner tray. Taking a look at her data card, uh, features artwork from the Batgirl 27, and uh, yeah, it looks looks really cool, just like all the other ones, a neat, a neat little add-on uh, accessory. And then it does also come with a figure stand, much like uh, almost exactly identical to the Batman uh, figure, it actually is uh, identical uh, when you when you uh, compare them together. But uh, yeah, uh, simple, easy, um, and yeah, nice to have. Let's take out these accessories first. Being the Batmobile piece, the one of three, um, it looks cool uh, in pictures, but it seems really cheap plastic. Uh, this one piece, but you know, I won't judge it until you know I, I maybe get all three one day. Uh, and then taking out the Batgirl is pretty easy. Uh, just the one uh, strap there in the middle. We'll, we'll get her out. All right, here is our Barbara Gordon Batgirl from McFarlane Toys. And uh, let's take a look at her articulation. Uh, you know, as with many uh, longer-haired figures, uh, there is limited movement of her uh, head joint on the ball joint. You can get some downward angles, not really any upward uh, and some side to side, but uh, is to be expected with the longer hair. We have the arm joints, the shoulder joints, double jointed elbows. Uh, we also have uh, the ball jointed wrists, as well as being able to swivel the hands on those ball jointed wrists. Uh, you know, have the same on the other side. Uh, both uh, joints seem to be tighter than I had on my Batman figure, which is good. Uh, tight, but not too tight to where you think you're going to break it. Uh, the leg joints are a little bit looser. I know some people have problems with the McFarlane uh, hip joints where the legs come right off. Um, and noticing right here, we actually have a bit of a, a paint uh, smudge uh, from that yellow. Um, but double jointed knees, uh, as well as uh, ball jointed uh, ankles and uh, double jointed toes, um, or I should say jointed toes. Uh, again, I, I wish there was a type of boot cut that I could swivel on. Um, I love the inclusion of the uh, backpack uh, back here. I think that's really neat. So yeah, overall joints work as they should. I really like the ab crunch on this figure as well. While there isn't as much movement, um, I think the, the lines look a lot better. It looks less disjointed, breaking the lines of the sculpt. Uh, no QC or major ones that I can see aside from that little paint smudge. 
And uh, yeah, the paint looks really good as well. I feel like getting the yellow is going to be more difficult than the, kind of the black and grays of, of the Batman. Uh, and yellow just kind of will show a lot of slop if it is not done well. Uh, the hands hold the accessories well. Uh, her grappling hook uh, looks great in hand. And it is a different sculpt than the Batman figure had, so I think it's neat. They gave her her own grappling hook gun. Uh, the Batarang is different as well. It is in a metallic gold uh, with a bit more details uh, in the bat than presented in the Batarang for the Batman DC-1000. And the Batarang fits in her hand just fine, just like the grappling hook. I love the unique sculpting details like the boots, uh, her utility belt, the backpack on the back, uh, you know, just the, the gauntlets, uh, everything. I think just really neat. The face sculpt looks great with the mask. I also love the little bat ears poking through her hair. Uh, just overall, a, a great representation of one of the, you know, most iconic Batman lore characters, Barbara Gordon's Batgirl. Uh, and I think McFarlane Toys did a fantastic job with her. All right, now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this thing stacks up and see if it is truly shelf-worthy. Again, we have six categories, starting off with packaging. Uh, it is still same old packaging, nothing great, nothing horrible, giving it a three. All right, for paint and sculpt, going to give this one a five. It looks fantastic. So many unique details that make this figure a lot of fun, and with the you know, bright yellow accents of this figure it could be very easy for the paint paint to be sloppy, uh, but it really wasn't aside from that one little mark uh, on the leg. Uh, but overall, just looks great. The lines are really clean cut, which make for a really fantastic action figure. For articulation, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, I think unlike the Superman, where I thought some of the articulation took away from the sculpt, uh, the articulating points here don't really. Again, I think the the bat suit kind of lends itself to be uh, cover up those lines a little bit um, and overall I think you get into some neat poses uh, not 100% perfect though uh, but going to give articulation a four all right for QC going to also give it a four no crazy loose joints no uh, you know separating uh, hip joints like some of these McFarlane figures have had uh, other than that little uh, bit of paint uh, not really any QC issues to speak of um, so I'm going to give it a solid really good four for accessories, going to give it a three. I think, you know, it has nice accessories. The the stand uh, is nice. It's a nice add-on. Uh, but, you know, the addition of the Batmobile piece, I don't have all three. I don't think I'm going to buy the other figures, so it's kind of a thing I don't really want or need, uh, as well as I believe it costs extra for these figures because of that piece. So I'm uh, going to give accessories a three. All right, and last but not least, going to give Fun Factor a five. Uh, you know, all of these figures so far have been uh, fives and fun factor for me, and this one is no different. Uh, I think the the paint, the colors really pop. Um, I think it's just a great version of Barbara Gordon's Batgirl, and, you know, excited to have this one on my shelf uh, with the Bat family. I hope they make a Robin, uh, and I'm not sure on the Nightwing. Maybe I'll get the Nightwing. I'm hoping maybe for a different version down the road, but we'll see. Uh, but for the three that I picked up, uh, the Batman, Superman, and the Batgirl. Uh, I think they're all, you know, really good figures. While the Batman wasn't quite shelf worthy, um, I think that the Barbara Gordon Batgirl uh, should be. So let's tally up these points to see if it is. Uh, remember, if you're shelf worthy, that means you average about four per category, leading you to a 24 out of 30 possible points. And yes, this Batgirl is shelf worthy with 24 points. Uh, and I think it is absolutely uh, worthy of that score. All right, so that'll do it for this episode of Geek Dad Life. If you like what we do here on the channel, hit like, hit subscribe, and click on that bell icon to be notified when the latest episode of Geek Dad Life drops. Check out my other McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse reviews. I did Superman, Batman, and the Bat Raptor. Uh, that'll do it for the McFarlane figures for me as of right now. Can't rule out finding other ones down the road that I really need to get, or I assume further waves of the DC Multiverse toy line. And uh, I also uh, picked up some of those uh, Spin Masters figures uh, and the Batmobile, so uh, look for a review on that uh, coming up on the channel. All right, until next time, hasta luego, and goodbye.